And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round, so Wraith, we're making an attempt to get his adept. So we're running his three basic perks, which are all, frankly, garbage. We are running add-ons that will allow us, whenever we kick stuff, that will allow us to uncloak. And so the whole point, the whole point right there would have been to you know, break the pallet, not get stunned with it. I drop the pallet? Come on, drop the pallet. Drop the pallet. You're not gonna drop the pallet? Jesus, Pete. This team brought in four med kits. They didn't send us to Haddonfield, they might as well have. Yeah, we're already tired of this. We're already tired of chasing after you. We have already tired of chasing after you, Nia. So, yeah, we uncloak quickly. Hey, calm spirit on the Dwight. Wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna throw you over here, Dwight. Two gens done just like that, and a third one over here ready to go. Yeah, we caught her a little bit by surprise there. She was not expecting us to... How did I miss you, Nance? Jesus Christ, how am I missing you? I gotta give the Nia credit for being uh, altruistic. So we already know they've got those med kits. I already know they have the med kits. So healing, I have a feeling, is not going to be a problem. <laughs> that time we blocked the pallet. They don't care. They're both, like I said, they're powering through gens. Like it's nobody's business. You note everybody we've hit already healed. Man. 
might not have realized we were going to uncloak when we did that, Dwight. Claudette. I dropped the pallet. Not a problem. Yeah. Guess who? Guess who won cloak, Claudette? Oops. I weren't expecting that, I'm guessing. And it's not going to save our chances here. They're down to one gen. The day they rework Haddonfield will be a happy day. Be a happy day, Nancy. Now, I don't know where the skill level is in running around these long, long ass walls. We're basically just playing running simulator here, aren't we? You're going to hang a corner. Come on, get! I got a little ladies. Appreciate you coming to take a hit. Love the altruism. They're busy pounding that gen, right? good if we get somebody out of this game. We just can't seem to do it at the moment. Ah, well. 
we knew someone was on that gen. We knew there was nothing we could do. Terrible news for you, Dwight. That would be terrible news for you, Dwight. Alright, you better, you might want to leave, Dwight. You might want to leave, my buddy. You take your borrowed time hit. You, my friend, you are not leaving. You're going to stay here with me and the entity. in the bell a little bit so rough match rough match especially with that knee in the beginning we we really couldn't get our uh, our strategy of, of uncloaking when we broke the pallets ironically enough we get a perfect game <laughs> we get 32,000 blood points how in the world that happens in a match like that I don't know but you know we'll take the blood points uh, we're also facing a really good lobby. Uh, 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 to me, clearly, a, you know, at least some semblance of a survive with friends group. And we saw that they all switched the med kits right before. And, you know, again, these are not necessarily uh, good for anything other than blood point bonuses. But the fact that these three were running identical builds for med kits and that two of them used the missed offerings. That kind of makes me think at least these three were together, and I have a feeling their their buddy here was with them too. So the med kits meant that hit and run was not going to be really a strategy. They were just going to get themselves healed up as quickly as I could injure them, and you know again, barely any tracking perks, uh, nothing to slow down gens. Uh, the only thing we were able to do is a couple times using those add-ons, the ones that reduces the time for us to break things whenever we're cloaked. And the one that makes us uncloak when we break stuff, we actually got uh, we actually got a good hit on uh, the Claudette, who kind of camped the pallet, watched us cloak. We went to break it, and Claudette assumed, well, I'm safe. Uh, I have a little bit of time to kind of camp or see what he does. And then all of a sudden, I was uncloaked, and I got a quick down on her. So in that aspect, I, I don't think we used it as well as we wanted to, but there were points later in the match that we did. So, again, this just kind of illustrates how difficult it is with some of the killers that you play adept with. The race three perks, uh, Bloodhound is, is, is not terrible, but it's really, it's not a great perk. Uh, Shadowborn is a great perk when you're playing Nurse, and Predator is absolutely awful and one of the worst perks in the game, and that's all you got. So, uh, we've tried some of the overpowered add-ons, we've tried this. Uh, we'll keep trying, but uh, you know, overall, we'll take a 2K in our attempt as the adept on Wraith. Uh, it's gone better than some of our other attempts have, so we'll keep giving it a try. But for now, 2K for the Wraith, trying for adept. <laughs>